This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 34 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Alright, we are on this little box thing. So, polygon, grow, use the local tool, and just, just move it in a bit. Okay. Uh, next, let's use a line, make sure you're on auto grid. And right. just create a little shape. Okay. Convert to editable spline. Go to the vertex mode and just bring this one down. Make sure that was up. Uh, turn rendering on and then make sure you enable both those and oops. using the local normal copy this three times and select it if it's possible okay and grab a vertex and just start realigning. Uh, convert them all to beziers. I also want to add a few wires over here so we can just get this looking nice. So, add a box right here. Doesn't have to be too big. Convert to edge with poly, polygon, just like that. Edges, chamfer. Give it a slight chamfer. Okay, and then go to line, and make sure you're on auto grid, and start there. And I guess end there. <laughs> okay, uh, vertex, grab one of the vertices there, and just drag it down, and drag it over. Okay, uh, convert to editable spline, and go to refine, and click three times, and convert all those to beziers. Alright, now the beziers, uh, you can just align them right in here. Okay. You can make all kinds of interesting shapes. And just pop it right in there. Okay, and copy that over once. Okay, vertex. Drag it right back, reposition it a bit. Alright, there we go. Now we have 
some heavy duty wires that go over there and don't do much. Okay. I'm uh, just going to sign this all our gray material again. And give it all a black. Um, let's start by making a cylinder using auto grid and just make it right on here, drag it out and uh, effective it only and just put it right in the middle there. Okay. Convert to editable poly, polygon, select here, edges, chamfer. Okay, chamfer it, and then sink it right in there. Okay, and copy it a few times. Okay. Bring it over to this one, rotate it a bit, and sink it in. Lastly, go over to this one, rotate it, and sink it in. Okay, uh, now select all of those. side using the view. Okay, a uh, mirror on the X and just sync those right in place. Next, let's hmm. all right. Let's build a cylinder. Actually, no. Let's build a box right here, about that big. All right. Uh, convert to editable poly. Select to the edges here. Connect. Oh, yeah, connect. Okay. Select one of the polygons. Delete here. Hinge from edge. Pick hinge. Uh, 180 and 18. Okay. Delete. The vertex. Control A. And weld. Two of them should be gone. And actually, let's just shrink that thing down the local. It's a bit big. Okay. Move the local again and copy it over. Okay. Looks pretty good. Uh, now create a box and just surround those things in the box. Okay, increase the height a bit, convert to digital poly, polygons, like that edge chamfer. Okay, uh, now make a cylinder, just somewhere in the middle, and bring it out. Okay, uh, that'll be it for part 34. I will see you in part 35.